Welcome back to Last Night I Watched. I'm your host, Carlos, and with me I have my buddy Roman. What's up, Roman? Hey, hey, what's going on? Howdy. And we also got Ian in the third chair. What's up, Ian? Fellas, thanks for having me. Thanks for having us, Carlos. Good it's to see you pleasure. guys. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think this is our first time back for 2022. Uh, I think we, we, we recorded New Year's Day, right? Did we? What did we talk about? The, the Matrix. Um, oh, the was Ma- that, was what was it New called? Was there Re- a Matrix Re- movie that came out recently? Re- Resurrections. Re- 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 I don't remember that movie. Yeah. I don't, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I, I deleted it. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think it got wiped from our hard drive. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, but we're not talking about the Matrix today. Not today. <laughs> today we're going back to 1979, and we're watching the classic The Warriors. Mm-hmm. Let's dig into it. These are the armies of the night. Can you dig it? Can you dig it? The Furies, the Boppers, the Hi Hats, the Lizzies, the Turnbull ACs, the Gramercy Riffs, Riffs. and these are the Warriors. They've got one way out. Got one chance. They've got one night. The Warriors. Who chose this one? I think Roman suggested we do the Warriors. Mm. Yeah, it was one of probably well, it was yeah. one of us. So it's one of my uh, favorite movies, really. When I think about like top movies off the top of my head. Um, I always pick my favorites, you know. It's yeah. funny. Well, you got to. Yeah. Hey, I mean, I, I love watching them, and I like diving into them and really like taking a, a closer look. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, like I said, I didn't read the book. I don't know. I, I know that like in the book, it's pretty dark. Like when they get to Mercy, I guess they like actually do, as they say in the movie, like run a train on her. You know? Oh, oh wow! Pull about, a train on I forgot her. Forgot about so. that. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about that. Oh um, boy. But yeah, you know, I just like. Uh, I just love a good chase. I love a good, you know, behind enemy lines type story. Yeah. You know, they're definitely. dropped in there. Um, I looked on a map because I don't, we're not, we're Californians, right? We're not from New York. Um, I want to, have you guys been in New York? I no, haven't. Okay. No, never. No. Okay. Love to go. I will someday. <clears throat> One day. But, um, you know, the Warriors are from Coney Island, right? And Coney Island's like all the way at the bottom of New York, like the southern tip all along the ocean. Right. And uh, the Bronx, which is where Van Cortlandt Park is, is like the northern part of New York. And right. Van Cortlandt Park specifically, where they have that big meeting at the beginning, is like right at the border at the top of New York. So literally, they have to go all the way from the top to all the, the way to the bottom. They got to go through the Bronx. They got to go through Queens and then through the rest of Brooklyn. Okay. And, you know, they're on the trains and all that stuff. But then they go into the streets. They're in the subways. I just like I just love the. Uh, I've never been to Coney Island. Is it below Brooklyn? Yeah, it's. I okay. guess it's technically part of Brooklyn, so like, okay, but like right okay. below Brooklyn. Okay. Yeah, right along the ocean. Gotcha. So yeah, they literally have to go, you know, literally to the end of the line. Like you can't go any further than the beach, than the ocean, and uh, yeah. So I just love that. I don't know about you guys, but I always have dreams where I'm getting like chased. Like, yeah, I'm running <laughs> dreams. Yeah. 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 And so movies like this, or uh, you know, what Saving Private Ryan, or Escape from New York, or even like Mad Max. Right, you know, where yeah. you just kind of like it's like chasing and constant like pressure and action. Yeah, I just like it. Yeah, Same. and and uh, I have overused the word stylized. I think, but I definitely feel like this is a stylistic movie. Yeah. you know, it's it's a lot of I but I don't think it's style over substance. Well, I don't know. I think there's substance there. Yeah, a little bit. You know, I mean, I think it does. It's a little more eye catching, but at the same time, it's not like uh, it's not. Um, it's you know, it's not just like a pretty chick that's dumb. Right. For, lack, for lack of a better analogy, <laughs> yeah, right. Like I think you know, it does have um, some kind of neat substance there. Mm-hmm. For uh, you know, well, uh, as I oversay, we'll get into it later. But um, yeah, <laughs> but it's definitely stylized for sure. That's what I think is um, so cool about it. With yeah. all the different characters of the gangs and stuff, you yeah. got like the skinheads, you got the mime gang. <laughs> yeah, the, the mime, mimes. yeah. What the, are they, the hi hats? The that top hats. Yeah. Yeah. You just watch the trailer. You before. don't meet them in the movie. Yeah. There's a few gangs yeah. that you meet that they don't name, like uh, the 
this rollerblading, like hockey lumberjack players. The, the, the overalls and the overalls. Yeah. I, they're the goons. They're called something. the punks. The punks. Yeah. yeah. And I had to look that up. The skinheads, I think, are the AC Turnbulls. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or, or one calls them the Turnbull ACs, and then later, like that Puerto Rican dude that like leans into the riffs guy, and he's like, they got past the Turnbulls. So I don't, okay. I don't know okay. what to call them. Okay. But That's funny. Yeah. They reminded me of Mad Max, too. You know, yeah. The, the, yeah. Their kind of whole aesthetic. Yeah. Yeah. And then whenever I think of the Warriors, I think of uh, the Furies, the yeah. baseball Furies. They're my favorite. Yeah, yeah they're so cool. I was a baseball Fury for Halloween one year. Yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> one of these days, I'll find the picture show it to you. <laughs> yeah. So obviously, you know, it's not uh, realistic. This isn't what gangs were really like in the 80s. I don't, right. well, you know, I was born in 95. Maybe they were really like this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think so. I think it's, I think it's sort of a, um, like I said, sort of cartoony almost. Yeah. But, not necessarily in a bad way, you know. No, I, I mean yeah. that's what makes this movie great. Yeah, it doesn't. It's fantastic. It's not trying to take it super yeah, seriously. It's it's, it's it's fantastic. You know, it's yeah, definitely. Yeah, so and you know it comes from source material like um, the book. You know, the, yeah, the the book, but then the book itself is based on this Greek story from thousands of years ago. You know, right. um, it's a pretty cool one too. Uh, it's the same exact idea. There, there's like this Persian army. They're hired by a king to go fight. Um, like this other king well then the, the guy that hired them he dies so now the other king takes over and they're like deep in enemy territory and they got to basically fight their way back to where they came from and it, it's the same idea because the you know a little history the persians they, they hired a bunch of mercenaries basically they like cobbled together all these different cultures and things so it's it's very appropriate because each like group of mercenaries kind of had their own specialty and things like that so this specific group you know was just kind of they had to fight through like different enemies basically to get back home and they do too they, they make it so that's kind of interesting that you say that um because i know the great persian king like in 300 uh was cyrus the great and oh, in the beginning okay. of this film cyrus yeah. is trying to bring all these groups together like you're saying <clears throat> yeah that's the thing so well so actually that king in 300 is xerxes the first oh, xerxes. You're right what, xerxes. who am i thinking of cyrus the great well cyrus the great is like the og he's the first persian king so he is the the first king of kings that like brought all these groups together okay, and okay. stuff. Oh. Cool. So that is, I think, why Cyrus is named Cyrus because yeah. he's trying to bring all the gangs together. You right. Know? That's cool. But also, interestingly enough, in Anabasis, the the book that it's based on, um, or the story, I guess you could say, uh, the guy that sends the the there's two kings, right? They're fighting for it. It's Artaxerxes the second, and then um, Cyrus the younger. Cyrus the younger is the one that sends this group of mercenaries out. He ends up getting killed. And so then Artaxerxes takes over. Whoa. He's like great great grandson of Xerxes from 300. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. There, it's really confusing because there's all the Persian kings are named either like Cyrus, Xerxes, or Darius. <laughs> you know, there, wow. there's like Darius one, Darius two, Darius the third, <laughs> Darius the great. You know, Xerxes, which is the guy from 300. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, there's. You, you can, like, really look into it. We, we even touched on, like, the Odyssey connection. Yeah, um, the, the, yeah. the sirens. Yeah, yeah. And, and just the, the great journey, Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. which is the Odyssey. Yep. So, yeah, um, I think there's, like, historical basis for this, and that's just cool, you know? There's a reason these stories are still being told thousands right. of years yeah, yeah. later. It's Definitely. Just, yeah. But yeah, great characters, great gangs. I thought the sets and stuff were really cool. Well, I guess you wouldn't call it a set, right? If it was shot on like location or I mean... yeah, like you said, like maybe where the Lizzies are might be a set. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, um, yeah. Maybe the bathroom might be a set, but mm -hmm. from what I looked up, yeah, they shot it in New York, yeah. like on the actual subways yeah. and the streets. Yeah, yeah, which is really cool. Yeah, really, really cool. Yeah, that I love that. I love. Um, I th I think we talked about it during the thing how like the environment can be sort of a character of itself. You yeah. Know? And I think the cops kind of are part of that as well. Like, they got to fight. They don't just have to fight the gangs. They have to fight the cops. They have yeah. to go, you know, the subway, there's a fire, and they got to, like, take alternate routes. They get split up. Yeah. So all this yeah. stuff, the city just kind of takes on a life of its own. Right. Which is yeah. very appropriate for New York. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. What do you think about the acting? <laughs> it was okay. It was okay. I thought, personally, I thought uh, there was, like, some overacting going on. Mm -hmm. But... It, Instead of it detracting, I felt like it added to it, you know, because it's so outlandish yeah. and, and uh, stylistic, to use that word again. Um, I think of the, uh, well, Cyrus, I guess, you know, the speech. I was going to ask who you think overacts. Yeah. But it's like so overacted that it's epic. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our little piece of 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you count, sucker? Is that the first thing he says? He I gets think up so. and I think so. Can you count, sucker? Yeah. That's pretty funny. He like climbs up the thing and he's like sort of hanging off the side. He reminds me of like, I don't know, it's like Romeo climbing up Juliet's yeah. balcony almost or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, I also thought um the leader well, I guess Cyrus is the leader of the riffs, but then the guy that takes over with the sunglasses well, this and is the, Ma- Masa- Masai? Masai, yeah. I guess, yeah. Another guy you don't get named in the movie, you have to kinda of go look. Yeah. He's, I'm sure he's named in the book. Right. Um, yeah. But yeah, his his character when he's like, Who are the warriors? Yeah. And he's like yelling, you could see like his neck is like straining <laughs> yes. and stuff. Yeah. Um you might even say, um, Luther, what's his name? David David Patrick, Patrick Kelly. So yeah. that's who I thought you were gonna bring up first when you brought up the overact. Yeah, yeah. He he does too, you know, but yeah. Again, his character is just over the top. I'm just having fun. Yeah. <laughs> or when yeah. he's at the candy shop and she says, "What about the money you owe me?" And yeah. he just turns around For and what? screams at her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like, she's like, um. You like uh, what? What does she tell him? She's like, you gotta um, pay for that. Yeah. For what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God. I don't know if he's playing like a coked out person or like a drug mm. addict or something. He's got like, look at his eyes. Like yeah. he looks drugged out. Yeah. He looks like he either that or he does not sleep well. Seems mm-hmm. like it. He seems, uh, yeah, a little, well, uh, a little, yeah, kind of um, strung out. Well, but when he's playing solely in um commando he doesn't look like strung out and right out. No, so i think he's just doing it for the character yeah. right yeah must just be. a super crazy guy who wants chaos yeah he's, he's like Almost a gremlin Joker-esque. actually yeah Joker-esque yeah in a way yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just wants to see the world burn i like yeah. the, i like i guess we can talk about it now when like i'm at the end he's like um why'd you do it he's like no reason. <laughs> right. He's like doing things like that. Yeah. Like, we used to say that all the time in high school. When like you were like why like why'd they do that? No reason. <laughs> they just like doing things like that. Yeah. Great, great. Yeah, sometimes there doesn't and you know what? It works. For me it no, works. Yeah. There doesn't always have to be some James Bond villain explanation of why he did it. Sometimes it's just, yeah. you know, he just he just he just gets a the kick. Gramercy Riffs gets, killed gets, my son. Yeah, it's like no, he just gets off on it. He yeah. just likes he just likes he just likes doing things like that. Just, yeah, when he says that, that's when I thought this guy's a gremlin because yeah. like he's, <laughs> yeah. he's small and he's yeah. just chaos. He's yeah. just an agent of chaos. Yeah. Yeah. Though the, they're um that gang, the the rogues, you could because right, it's on the, the back of their yeah. yeah. But their outfits were cracking me up. <laughs> they look like um I kept thinking they look like they went to a sex shop and just bought like cop outfits or something, <laughs> oh, you know? No. Yeah, because they look they looked like they had like knockoff police uniforms on. I a think little, that was yeah, on purpose. That's funny. Like the police hat and and then uh, oh my god, uh, he has like uh, the big badge on the front. It's like a sheriff's badge. Yeah, on Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah, but uh, yeah, those guys are great. Who do you think when he keeps talking on the phone? Who do you think he's talking to? Ooh, that is a good question. Good maybe question. The, yeah. the leader of his gang. Maybe? That's kind of what but I thought. But I was under the impression that he was the leader of the gang. Yep. You know, mm. so I don't when know. He keeps talking on the phone to someone. Yeah, like, a couple. Yeah, times. it was crazy, man. Yeah, like you know, yeah. They, I, and I forget. Does he tell the person that he killed Cyrus or that the warriors killed Cyrus? Is he still like fooling the guy on the phone? I think he's, he's like fooling the guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, warriors, man. Yeah, it was crazy. They yeah, killed they Cyrus right in front of everybody. Yeah. You don't think he's talking to the riffs, do you? He's talking to himself. Maybe he's actually not on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> he's not even on the phone. <laughs> he's like he's like Edward Norton in Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, he just comes running out after the, the phone booth and like elbowing his guys. He's yeah, like, I like, we yeah. gotta go. Yeah, I like when one guy is like, what if they're after us? They're like, they're not after us. They're after the warriors, remember? Yeah, yeah he like touches his yeah, head. So remember? Funny. Yeah, and I, uh, mm-hmm. another thing I think is cool is that it's all it takes place over one night. You know, yeah, they, yeah. They're I like, there I like night, that a lot. And they get back at sunrise, and that means that you know maybe that's why his eyes are all messed up because he hasn't slept either. They've been yeah, chasing him down. It's a true. long night. Yeah, night yeah. When they're the one the sleeping on the bus, you know, like uh, Rembrandt's like knocked out, uh, cowboys like cuddling the the baseball bat that he took from the Furies. <laughs> yeah. I I got the feeling that those two were like the the kind of young guys. In right. The game. I, I, yeah. Yeah. Because at the beginning Definitely they're Rembrandt. like roasting cowboy on the. They're like all kind of bullying him almost yeah, on the train. Yeah, they're kind of uh, hazing him. Yeah, I guess. And he's not like a great fighter either. No, yeah. sort of gets his butt kicked a couple y- times. Yeah. Also, a part of the Warriors is uh, Windows from the Thing. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, he's good Fox to see him Fox. in this one. Yeah, and yeah, he just um, his character is so strange because it almost looks like he's gonna be with the love interest because they're holding hands, and he kind of picks her up when they. Um, you know, he's like he's like right with Swan when they're talking to the orphans and they're talking to her. He's like by Swan's side the entire time. True, and he's the one that saw um, 
Yeah, he's the one that saw Lu- uh, Luther, yeah. Luther shoot him. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Um, he's but, just standing there, all goofy looking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like like a kid or something. Yeah, he runs very funny too. He like kind of flaps his arms to yeah. the side as he runs. <laughs> like um, he says something like um, someone comes. I was like, he's like um, like did you see who shot him? I think so. Are you sure? No. It's, it's so <laughs> funny like that. Yeah. But he gets like thrown into the subway and gets hit by a train. Yeah. But the thing, if you watch, a lot of people point this out. If you watch that whole like scene, it's a stunt. It's obviously a stunt double. Yeah, they never show him. Yeah, and it's I guess the actor just like had a fall, like it was kind of like pissed off at Walter Hill and just walked off the movie. Huh. Yeah, I and that's why, why kind of Swan, kind of that's why people think Swan is with the love interest, the uh, Mercy. Instead. Ends up with her, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's strange. I don't know if that was initially the, the plan. I, I've never read the original script, but yeah, it's very huh. interesting. Fox, yeah, yeah, very unceremoniously yeah. thrown aside, literally. Yep. Unfortunately, I mean, yeah, you know, his character seemed like he was going to be more important. Right, but definitely. They had enough. Uh, it's it's nine of them originally, and then Cleon gets jumped by the rift, so right. it's eight of them yeah, right away. Yeah, um, but eight dudes, and then what? They lose Fox to the train. They lose Ajax to the cop. Yeah. Or, well, I don't know if she was a cop. I think she was, right? Yeah, Undercover, she, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is that? Uh, she entraps him. It's like entrapment. Yeah. Yeah. She honeypotted him. Yeah, yeah. exactly. exactly. <laughs> that that did feel a little weird. Like, she was definitely, like, egging him on. Yeah, but, exactly. Well, you know, she didn't make him, like, right. ugly rough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. But Ajax, too, that's another name, because Ajax is what the... The God of War, I think. Oh, in Rome. Yeah. that's cool. Mars is God of War in Roman, and I think Greek is Ajax. I could be wrong, oh, that's but really it's something cool. about something about fighting, or and you know, and he's, that makes he's the tough he, guy. He is super, yeah, like fiery yeah. and ready and for does, a tussle. He, he does yeah. kick ass too. You know? yeah. yeah, he's a soldier. He yeah. also has uh, some interesting language. I was gonna <laughs> using say, the yeah, F word a lot. The F word yeah. that rhymes with I counted three lot. times. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like that um, in the beginning when, like, um, they're just talking to each other, like, over the shoulder shots, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Like, what do you know about Cyrus? Like, magic. Yeah. A whole lot of magic. Like, yeah. Like, other. Th- um, uh, Co- Coach Ice or Cochise. Cochise. I don't know how to say his name. I think it's Cochise. I don't think they say his name in the movie. Uh, yeah, they might not. Yeah. yeah. He's just. He's just the tribal guy. Right. You know? Yeah. <laughs> they're kind of the village people. They all got their own character. <laughs> you know? They got the cowboy, they got the, the Indian. Yeah, uh, I didn't think about the that. artist. I don't know. The intro it shows like all the gangs getting on the subways yeah. too and getting ready for the meeting. Yeah, the intro's and, great. Yeah. And I was showing my girlfriend the movie and she's like, "Hey, this reminds me a lot of uh, Anchorman when they're all getting ready to meet up." Oh my god. <laughs> for the big battle at the end. The, the news anchor the, yeah. gang fight. Yeah. Oh, that's man. pretty accurate. That's it's, hilarious. Even like the chains and like the, the weapons that they're that's using hilarious. and stuff. That's hilarious. Yeah, they got like the Latino. Where did you get a gun? They, they, yeah, I don't know. Oh, he yeah. gets a grenade. That's right. Yeah, that's so the far. grenade. Um, <laughs> yeah, because there's like, there's a lot of, we see like a, a like an Asian gang. They're dressed up like, yeah. like Attila the Hun or something. Almost <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, like, and um, what else is there? There's, there's like, like the a, pimps kind of right. Like, there's like a pimp group. Oh, that's yeah, right. a pimp gang. Yeah. There were one guys. They looked like they had forty uh, nine er jackets on. They were like the electric eliminators or something oh like God. that. They were, those were really <laughs> cool. Funny. Like the jackets. That's funny. Just great. Um, like I, I guess you could call Cost- it world building or costume something. Costume design. Thing. Yeah, costume designs was awesome. Yeah. So it just really it like puts you in there and makes you feel it. And then uh, the score, the music, all, yeah. all over the top. Very culturally diversive. Yeah, mm-hmm. like I think every. I mean, the warriors themselves are pretty. You know, they got guys that look like they. Um, I think Rembrandt looks like he might be of uh, Latino descent, and you mm-hmm. got. Um, yeah, Rembrandt. If mo- if the movie was they made today, I felt like Rembrandt was a non-binary person. You know, like super yeah. and- androgynous so looking. I looked up that actor, and I think he was gay, and really, like, he died of AIDS in the eighties. Oh, and I think he might have been uh, homosexual. That's crazy. And you get yeah. that vibe from him when they're he's the only one that's not interested in the Lizzie's, right? Yeah. And they're in the, that's in the, right. Yeah, he's just kinda he kinda wants to leave it. I don't know if that's like he knows there's something wrong and the other guys don't. Mm. I don't know if that's what I they're think going maybe for. he's also so young that he's maybe like, that's really yeah. But you'd that have to be like well. twelve, you know. <laughs> right, I, right. I don't think they were yeah. like you said in the in the book they were I guess adolescents. Yeah. They aged him up for the movie. Yeah. It makes more sense to do for, yeah. for a film like this too. Yeah. But yeah, it's a, there's a lot of representation here. It's you know, at least you know racially. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was interesting the riffs. Like they're basically like an all minority gang. You know. Yeah, like, I said before they like they were like Wu Tang Clan before Wu Tang Clan. <laughs> right. Yeah. African yeah. Americans <laughs> that are into martial arts. Yeah. Morpheus before Morpheus. Yeah. Morpheus. Oh no. Yeah. yeah. 
Uh, they have like that. They have like the one specifically like Cuban or Puerto Rican dude that like he always. I love the shots. Like it's like the shot of like the riffs leader, and it's just like him, like facing the he's camera. Like David, like David Putty does that in Seinfeld. Like they'll cut to him. He's just like he's <laughs> staring. staring yeah, at staring when he's on the airplane, just staring yes, straight ahead. Yes, yeah, yeah, it's basically that. But he's got glasses on, like his fro. Yeah. and then like someone will just lean in from the side, and he's like, "That ton bull's like messed up." You know, like yeah. they made it past. Yeah. Yeah. Lots of cool sh- shots in this movie like yeah, that. You know, definitely. I even think like the radio stuff is really interesting. Just the close up on the lips of the radio yeah. host. So what, cool. What lips? She's got a nice set of lips. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, boppers. Yeah. You're missing out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like, I like, like the use of the radio too as a, um, you know, everybody listens to it everybody can hear it it's and they're like all their the version page. of the internet that's where they get yeah. their information pretty much mm-hmm. yeah Which i wonder how she's getting that information she's mm-hmm. got like she's got like uh like uh scouts out on the street maybe she's like Varys from uh game of thrones yeah. she's got her little birds yeah. everywhere that's yeah. not who luther's talking to no, uh um, i don't think well maybe eh, yeah, that's, that's, maybe, that's a theory maybe yeah why would he be talking to her though you know Although I think she does say like the riffs got some information or something, so yeah. maybe it's the riffs leader. She probably has like her, her office above the riffs yeah. or something. Because like yeah. some random dude in the rogues like rats him out. That's the impression I got. Like at the end, I was like, yeah, one of the rogues says he knows who, sh- who actually killed Cyrus. Oh, oh that's was right. that a rogue? I thought it I was thought just it looked, a guy. It, it, he did. I though. was under the impression that it was a rogue, but you might be mm. right. It might just be some random dude that was there <laughs> at the meeting. Yeah. The intro, it you know, it introduces you. We're trying to go to a big meetup. No weapons. Right. Yeah. Um bunch of gangs are going to be there and there's going to be this great leader cyrus yeah he's got something planned and then it takes a long time to actually get to the meeting in a way a lot of build up a lot of build up and then you yeah. finally get there and cyrus does his big speech and says can you count mm-hmm. and you see all yeah. these gangs out there and he says look at I, we have this gang sitting next to this gang and yeah. nobody's tearing each other up yeah. yeah and you're sitting there looking at it and the wheels start turning in your head and you're like oh wait there is and he says the numbers we got sixty thousand troops yeah and there's only twenty thousand cops in the yeah. city can you dig it yeah. and i kind of got hype i was like that's kind of cool actually you can make yeah. your own little army and take over the whole yeah, city and the crowd reaction like, yeah it's yeah great, it's a great scene yeah it's like so quiet in the crowd right and yeah. you just hear like little like you got this brother like yeah, 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 like, yeah, outburst, yeah. but then yeah, like, like can you dig it once yeah. can you dig it can, can you dig, dig it? it and he's like and then he like raises his arms and like lowers them and then everybody <laughs> kind of like stops yeah it's super we take over one burrow at a time yeah. yeah it's a good plan let's do it he, remi- and- he reminds me of the rock yeah, yeah. <laughs> he looks like he could be related he to does. The Rock. He does look like him. It's like a young version of The Rock. And I know Shaquille O'Neal always used to say to the Can You Dig It back in the day, like when the <laughs> Lakers would win their championships at the like the parade things, he'd say that. That's awesome. Yeah, that's badass. No, that's mm. like a legendary scene, I feel yeah. like. You've seen it mm-hmm. so many times in, in popular, uh, in like culture. Yeah, I think I, before we start, I said, you know, this movie is really a part of pop and like our lexicon. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I mean, we'll get to the other one, the big one, but the Can You Dig It, it's, you know, so many people say that. Yeah. And but, reference it. But then, like, the whole dream is shattered right in front of us when Luther just randomly shoots him. There's yeah. that long scene, too, where um, they're all passing the pistol say, and it's a so close great. up. That's They're passing the revolver. Yeah. That's it was great. Really yeah, interesting shot right great. there, too. Yeah. And, like, you, you hear the cheering and the clapping in the background. They're just passing the gun. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's pretty great. Yeah. I like also... Um, when he gets shot, I think that's a great, like, it's slow motion, and mm-hmm. it's really good squib effect when he yeah. gets shot. Really great. He mm-hmm. falls back, almost like that Vietnam film, but only instead of falling yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Platoon. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, he kinda, yeah. He's falling backwards yeah. instead. I like, I like all the slow motion in this. I think it works really, really well. Yeah. Very yeah. effective. And then that's where the chaos starts. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They yeah. punch their way through a fence, too. I love yes. that part. <laughs> like, get the hell out of here. Yeah. They're running against the crowd, all that stuff. Yeah. I like that the riffs, too, are, like, basically still doing crowd control. Like, they're all lined up behind the thing, and they're, like, waving people along. Oh, that's, I didn't notice that. That's yeah. Funny. I mean, they're the biggest gang in the city, yeah. I guess. But I would have thought, you know, get the hell out of there. Yeah. But they had to go, like, tend to Cyrus. Man, there wasn't supposed to be no guns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Cleon's just standing there looking. Like, damn. Uh, yeah. yeah. Even during the speech, like you could see Ajax is like kind of like, man, eh, right? Like this. Yeah. But then Cowboy's like, come on, yeah. Yeah, woo. yeah I feel bad. I like I like Cleon. Um, Cleon's got a good look. He's got like that cheetah print, uh, yeah, bandana or yeah. something almost. Yeah, I don't know what to call oh, it. Oh yeah. Like um, I don't know what to call it either. Yeah, that. It's like he has like um, like some sort of like uh, not like a. 
I don't know if I want to call it a towel. Like, I don't know what you right. call that. It's just, but it's like cheetah print or something. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, it's it was a cool, cool like, look. It's just cool. Like, all, everyone really, like, except for maybe, like, Vermin, the one dude who, um, oh, like, the like funny an, guy. Yeah, yeah, like, except for, like, maybe, him, like, I guess Swan and Ajax are kind of, and Fox are all kind of, you know, uh, milk, milk toasty, kind of, you know, plain Jane. As, but, I don't know. They all kind of have their own attitude. Swan's very um, cowboy too. They just gave him a hat. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> all of a sudden, he's like, "I'm the hat guy." I call yeah, him cowboy. <laughs> Rembrandt's got his afro. Right. Um, yeah. But they all got their own, and they're all individuals, really. You know, they all got their own uh, attitudes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. It true. Seems, you know, Swan and Ajax kind of butt heads a lot. Yeah. Like, right away, why, there's that why, dynamic. That's why Ajax kind of like takes off because. Um, I think like Ajax is just he calls him the F word again and then um goes to talk to yeah the lady the pretty cop, cop he was chick. talking about it at the beginning too like yeah he's maybe like, we'll get some strange wool while we're down there right? yeah. <laughs> is that what he says yeah strange I think wool. so Vermin's like you got a one track mind you know that what you going you, you going, going F on me yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's uh that's the eighties I, I I think yeah. of a or, well it's a seventy nine movie I know but. I think a predator too, when uh, Jesse yeah, Ventura Jesse, yeah, with his, his line, offering man. everybody chew, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> slack jaw, yeah, a bunch of slack jaw, you know what's around here, yeah, yeah. So I think is it the first gang that they run into when they're trying to get away is the orphans? Yeah, we should talk about the orphans. The orphans. No, I think yeah. it's actually the technically the Turnbulls, right? Turnbull ACs. Because, Was that before? You I, might be right. I, I think can't so. Remember because um, they get to the graveyard. Um, after the thing, yeah, uh, which is also really right. cool that they're yeah. in a graveyard, and, and then and, um, he tags the the, mm-hmm. the tombstone or something, right? Yeah, With and he w. says like, "This is a graveyard," and Swan's like, "Just do it." Yeah, that's when Swan and Ajax have their little like, "Come on, like, I'm the leader." He, you know, Cleon made me. What is he? War, war captain, war chief, war, ch- war chief, I think, maybe yeah. something like that. Yeah. War, I don't know, but yeah, uh, I like the terminology. You know, it's just yeah. kind of cool. Boppers. Yeah. Ah, a bunch of wimps. I guess we, should we talk, that's when we're introduced to her, and um, she lets all the gangs know, and then if she plays the nowhere to run to, yeah. baby, yeah. nowhere to hide. Another great piece that's of a, music. That's a good like little montage, I guess. Mm-hmm. I guess you could call it. Mm-hmm. Like, I was um, showing them running around in the rain too. Yeah, oh, that was cool. Yeah, they're all like wet and sweaty, yeah, and like yes. I mean, it's stressful, you know. Get oh, out of there. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, they're like waiting for the train, but they gotta wait, and they're playing it safe, and and the Turnbulls ride by, and their little Mad Max like. Uh, salvaged bus, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. skinheads. Yes. I, I love that there's not really gunplay in this because that would just ruin it. You know, right. well, I don't know about ruin, it, but it would just make things so much simpler. Yeah. Like, boom, they're shot, they're dead. I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah even I, the cops. I, I agree. You know, yeah. This was before Rudy Giuliani, I guess. So the cops still like yeah, use nightsticks and stuff. In New York <laughs> have more poisonality. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nowadays they're just like, bam, you're dead. Yep. <laughs> the movie ends 15 minutes in. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. funny. That that nowhere to run to. Uh, I just telling you guys. I watched Baby Driver the other day. It's in Baby Driver too. Oh, oh okay. nice. It's, it's a different version, that. but okay. Uh, same song. I, ca- I caught cool. it. I was like, oh, I know this song yeah. from Warriors. That's awesome. I wonder if they don't use guns because the riffs captain. He says, "I want them alive." Oh, maybe dead if, yeah. if you have to, but I want them. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Maybe maybe they're yeah. all just using weapons to bring them. And alive. it's a good device to. They're all going there to this you know peace summit, and they're all supposed to be. Um, you know what do they say not packing basically yeah, or whatever right. so yeah. that's why the warriors they don't have you know weapons and stuff so it's cool like it's like a video game like i said you know you start out and you're you have literally nothing yeah yeah, yeah. and Almost you know so. first level you gotta like run to the subway beat the turnbull aces and it's like finally you get to fight but it's the orphans you yeah. know <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I love that scene with the orphans <laughs> with the molotov because um yeah they they just know right away like what they're doing basically like, so what is he he tears her dress right yeah now at first you're like oh god no what are they gonna like yeah like he's like reaching for her. it's like what are you doing to her no yeah. no no and then it's like oh it's for the cocktail okay. yeah yeah Hold yeah off. a little like subverted expectations or yeah whatever. i don't know we yeah. were we were going off on the orphans before we started recording. We were really uh, uh, roasting them, yeah. specifically the leader of the orphans, yeah, David Schwimmer. Yeah, yeah. you called him David. Sh- I, uh, you, so you said he looks like David Schwimmer, and then I said he's like a, a Pablo Picasso painting of David Schwimmer. Oh no! <laughs> what else? Like smeared. Yeah, yeah. They're just they got like really lame, just t-shirts and jeans on, and just. Mm-hmm. Look like they've just been like out and hanging, around, like rolling around in the dirt. Yeah, they're like chimney sweeps or something. Yeah, or the, yeah coal miners. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Mm. Like you call yourself the orphans. I mean, come up with a better name yeah, at least. Like I said, like before we like you know they're 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 like already asking for it. You know, like they're born losers. Yeah. And then of course you know it's like yeah we just came from uh, what's the park called? 
you named Van it. Van Cortland Park. Yeah, yeah, you know, there was a big meeting up there, uh, you know, with all the gangs. It's like, well, what do you mean, man? The orphans weren't there. <laughs> and, Come on, we're a big gang. You yeah. know, we would have been told about it. And How then could it you, be a big meeting? You brought up, he brings them the paper to, you know. Oh, yeah. You know, Snaps proof. his fingers. Yeah. The guy, like, pulls it out of his back pocket. Yeah. They write about our raids in the paper. Yeah. Fox plays it well, you know. Like, it's cool the, the different methods they use to get past, like, gangs, you know. Yeah. With the orphans, they, they were... Um, more diplomatic like they said tried parlaying yeah yeah because yeah. what what they they said you can go through our toif but you can't wear your colors yeah, yeah that was only after vests. mercy was instigating. right right but yeah at first they were gonna be like all right yeah come through like you if you as long as you come in peace there's no problem with you walking through our territory right well because they had gone on the subway and it had you know the fire and it had knocked them off there they right. didn't mean to walk through there or anything right yeah mercy i mean her character, I'm not really that big a fan of, yeah. but you know, I guess she adds a couple things. It reminded me of um, when they first like grab her. She's like walking down after them for some reason. Like, just keep walking, warriors. Yeah, she's just yeah. literally like a troublemaker. But yeah, um, <laughs> yeah she's kind of a shit starter. Then they like grab her, and she's like, "What are you gonna do? Jump me?" And he's like, "You look like you would like that." Blah blah. Yeah, <laughs> that's <laughs> some yeah, that's some yeah. wow dialogue. You know, they, they're running a train on her. Yeah, maybe you'd like to just run a train on you. <laughs> yeah. It reminded me of um. There's a South Park episode with Tally, and like the government goes around and they're shooting all the towels, and they go into Mr. Garrison's bathroom. And like he's like, oh, just do have your way with me, please. Like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> or like, just hurt me. Like, blah, blah. That's basically what Mercy was. She was That's like, hilarious. what are you gonna do? Bro? Yeah. And she is like a nympho or something, you know? Because he's like, maybe you should just strap a mattress to your back and make it easier. Or whatever. Oh, <laughs> but when they're in like the subway tunnel later, and she's like, come on, please. It's like, yeah. damn girl, like yeah. chill. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. She she's just sort of annoying, but I guess she adds like. I was trying to think why she's even in, in in the movie besides like just to bring in a romance for the mm-hmm. romance sake. I was thinking maybe some like she grounds it a little bit because she's talking about like, um, you know, I see what's happening down the street. Uh, belly hanging low. Five kids. Blah, blah, blah. Right. It, yeah. But I'm just kind of like, I don't know. Why are those your two options? Like to be basically like a gang I don't even know what she wants to be, but maybe it's th- this version of New York is so, um, uh, what's like, I can't think of the word. It's not so, desolate. Yeah. It, it's, it's like hopeless almost hopeless. Yeah. Thank you. I think that's kind of yeah. what it is. Yeah. Cause I think the idea is like, you're a gang, you're here in like the bottom tier of society or whatever. And like, yeah. there's no way up. Yeah, you it's know? almost like a dystopian kind of world. It seems mm-hmm. almost like, the, like, uh, like, do we even know if there's, uh, there's little corner shots, but are there actual like businesses like right? You know? And there's graffiti everywhere. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, corrupt cops or whatever. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the gangs got to fight their way up. Yeah, I think that's what I like about it too. I always like ugly worlds like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes it kind of interesting. Yeah. Even when they get to the boardwalk later, you know, the boardwalk looks like abandoned. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's uh that's cool that that's their hangout spot coney island yeah that's pretty cool yeah, i like An that amusement they're park. like the lost boys yeah, yeah that's pretty neat reminds me of sopranos i think uh tony soprano has a lot of flashbacks to when he's on the pier right. in coney island yeah. right. and it's is all it empty and everything like um there's one in new jersey yeah oh yeah, maybe a bunch. jersey shore all i guess it's on the jersey shore <laughs> With all the other goofy gabagools all the, but, um, all the guidos yeah. i like the empty piers though cool yeah. setting yeah i think yeah. it's uh asbury park maybe that's what it's called in sopranos yeah mm. i could be incredibly wrong on that so mm. don't it's something someone can fact there. check me whoever's listening to this <laughs> and then they throw the molotov cocktail at the orphans and blow that's up that car, car. Yeah. yeah yeah that's a good little scene <laughs> yeah and then um, when they get to the train they look back they're like wait i got a question like why are we running yeah. <laughs> the orphans literally yeah, yeah, were yeah. like oh we give up yeah yeah <laughs> okay the, you got the wimps that's for sure that was another thing about mercy i was like why'd you bring her like what what was the point of bringing her along i she's just gonna weigh him down you would think but yeah mm-hmm. that's a good know, point i guess because they like her yeah i just you know some like for how you were saying like it's racially diverse i felt like uh the women weren't so great yeah. in this movie like yeah. even the lizzie's yeah which i think are supposed to be lesbians is that what like i don't I know kind of thought there was a reason they're named lizzie's. That, i, I kind of got that yeah, they're the two chicks yeah. like, right i like when they're dance. yeah their dance is pretty great yeah one of yeah. them kind of looks like one of them reminded me of like sarah silverman or something kind of <laughs> yeah actually i know there's I, one in there that kind of reminded me of yeah her. i think it was the one making out with uh vermin maybe maybe could have been when i saw you yeah but anyway like even them like 
you know, tough chicks or whatever. But then, like, when everything kind of goes to shit, like, they all kind of, like, crowd behind the one girl with the gun. And they're like, shoot him, shoot him, like, blah, blah, yeah. It's like, oh, yeah. man, I thought these were gang members. Right, yeah. like, <laughs> You guys were tough chicks. Yeah, not yeah. like the chicks from Black Christmas all oh, of a sudden, God. you know. Oh, God. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you, you did t- mention, too, the lady in the park, you know. I felt like at least that was sort of a stronger character. She's yeah, out there, yeah, like. She, yeah, she shows Ajax, who's boss. Yeah, yeah. ties him up. I was just. I was looking at the bench and I just thought, why don't you just like punch the bench like you did that <laughs> fence in the beginning, you know, like oh. break, break the wood. Yeah, he's having a really tough time with that bench. Yeah, he's, he's dragging it along. Hey, come, come, lady, come on. Yeah. Lady, come on. I'm serious here. Yeah, he even on. clocks a cop too. I mean, yeah. yeah. Uh, he, he went out swinging like he they did. say. I yeah. bet he went out swinging. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> sure did. Oh, yeah. Oh, Ajax. <laughs> yeah. That was kind of a dumb move though on his part. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, the yeah he really, he just really, I don't know, maybe they don't. You never were very smart. They don't see a lot of girls, maybe. I don't know. That, that, they say that know. to him. There's plenty of women back home. Yeah. It's just, yeah, I guess. <laughs> ah, he, you're all just going. Like Vermin says, I guess he's just got a one track mind. Yeah. <laughs> got a one track mind. There's also, um, we didn't mention Snow, is like the other guy with the afro. Mm. Um, he's just kind of there. He's pretty quiet. Yeah. He says a couple things here and there. Right. He's a good fighter. Like yeah. when, when they're in the. Um, when they're in the bathroom fighting the roller skate guys, yeah. he ends up like fighting off a few of them by himself and then like saving Swan. I want to say right. too. So, you know, he has his he has his parts, but you know, he's just sort of there. I like that when like he just comes in on his roller skates and is kind of watching them. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, you know, instead of like his going prey, all the way down. if you will, mm-hmm. I kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, and then Mercy walks up and she's like, "Those those guys," and he's like, "I know that, yeah. but now they know I know." Yeah, yeah, that was a good line. <laughs> yeah. So Swan, he he kicks ass. He steps in, does what he needs to do, plans yeah. well, you know. Yeah. He, he was an able leader for sure. Yeah. Because if they were with Ajax, they would have gotten jumped right at the beginning when he's like, why are we waiting for the train? Right. And then all of a sudden the Turnbulls come, you know, pulling down. So Yeah. What about uh, the Furies chasing them through the park? Yeah. I was yeah. They're, my, they're my favorite gang by far. Yeah. yeah. Some of the best scenes, I think, are with the, the yeah, Furies. Yeah. I like when um they show the montage and they come out. Like, it's like, it's like, I don't know if it's like that's the cool thing too we don't really see where they reside we just see them walking out and walking up the stairs and taking their bats mm-hmm. yeah like they're like uh, getting ready for the game like that's their dugout and then you, they <laughs> show them like outside and they're all like swinging you know and kind of yeah getting, getting their practice ready right oh i didn't even think and that. i was wondering yeah. were they wearing cleats because it sounds like it when they're uh, running it comes maybe. they, they <laughs> take that shit seriously yeah, yeah <laughs> that's not good for running on they got the know. cleats and the pine tar on the bats and everything yeah they're really ready to go out there and swing some yeah swing some bats full face paint yeah i read um because i don't know if they're in the book or not but i read that walter hill at the time like his two favorite things were kiss and baseball so he oh that's where that's where the face paint came into play and i like how like one's got yellow and black one's got like purple and black one's blue Blue and black one i think is like red Yeah. yeah um to me See, they're my favorite gang. If I had to choose like a favorite character, I'd probably just choose every character in the baseball theories. Yeah. But I've kind of gotten made fun of because it's like, like what? They don't do anything. It's like the Boba Fett argument. Like, why is Boba Fett so cool? He doesn't do anything. He just stands around and looks cool. Yeah. It's like, well, I don't know. I, I gravitate towards that. It's Sometimes it's kind of nice they to just cool. have a character stand around and be cool. Yeah. And they bop Cowboy in the face, you know, with a, yeah. with a bat. That's about yeah. the best they get, I think. And I think um, Ajax says the best line in the movie to the one di- the the one in the yellow and black is, "I'm gonna sh- take that bat and shove it up your ass and turn you into a pop." Yeah, <laughs> turn that's you my, into that's a my favorite line of the movie by far. Negative. I am a meat popsicle. It's from I think Fifth Element or something. Anyway. Oh wow. Yeah. I haven't seen that in forever. Yeah, but uh, they turn around, they fight him. No, they. I like the whole chase. Like the yeah. and then the music's going the whole time too. Like really good. Just. They're, they're being chased all through the movie. That's like a microcosm of the yeah. entire movie, basically. Yeah. But really? yeah, eventually he's like, I can't run anymore. Right, I was sure? going to bring that up. Yeah. yeah. He's like, good, I'm, I'm tired of running this running run from these wimps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Always calling them yeah. wimps. Yeah. It's so funny. Yeah. Yeah, the, the fighting isn't, you know, it's not the most choreographed, but, you no. know, it's still kind of fun. Yeah, it's definitely like a 70s, 80s movie, you yeah. know, like, whoosh, you know, whoosh, and then, yeah. like, you know, he's punching down with, like, two hands and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. just weird. You know, it, it's, I think it's more to look cool than, yeah. like, to actually be practical, too. Yeah. yeah. Like, when he throws the guy through the door in the bathroom, the, the yeah. roller skating guy. Yep. Yeah. But they have that nice scene with the Furies, too, where, like, you know, it's kind of tense before the fight. They're just kind of there, just, like, one of them just, like... 
Yeah. And then one of them was just kind of, you know, just uh, yeah. swinging around. their pad around. Yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, before the yeah. chase, right? They're like lined up in like a circle. It yeah. reminded me of that shot from the thing where they're all like sanding around right. the body. Right. Yeah. A little bit of that. And yeah. even the similar background, like the synth or whatever, like Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Like, man, then the chase. And then yeah, and then when with them. And then when they when they get there and he like I, I was telling you guys about like the bat thing, how he has like the bat in his hand and then like he kinda like extends it yeah. out basically. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's hard to describe, but yeah, you know, visually it's just kinda cool. Like yeah. and I brought it up before when he's running, he's got it like cradled in his arm. I think yeah. all of them kind of do. Yeah, like, they like, have this. Yeah, like he's like you know, there's no film, so you can't see what I'm doing right now. But, like, <laughs> you know, like he, the way he has it in his in his kind of like his forearm is I always thought yeah. that was cool. Yeah, no, ready to go basically. It's like an extension of their arms basically. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. so, yeah. yeah. If they had two such, bats. It'd be General a, Grievous. It's really when you look. It's a silly like you like what the fuck like. Like, um, you're going to dress up in baseball uniforms and paint your faces? Like, what the yeah. fuck is wrong with you guys? But it's just so cool. It, that could have been done so piss poorly, but it's to me, it's my, it's my fa- it's always been my favorite part of the movie. That's When I think of the Warriors, I think of them first. Mm-hmm. Just They're just so, it's just such a, you know, great design. Just so striking. Yeah, right on the cover um, of the, the DVD and all that other stuff, like, there's a fury right there. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. I think, like you said, yeah, it's, it is yeah. a great, excuse yeah. me, a great design, so. Yeah. Just hanging out with your boys in the middle of the night, painting your faces. Yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, and go, go play, play a baseball. pickup game, baseball. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Beat up some dudes with the baseball bats later on, maybe. Knock off some heads. <laughs> yeah. Some mailboxes. Dude, yeah, I was just going to say that we'll do mailbox baseball, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's even mailboxes yeah. in that in that uh, area. You're telling me these guys painted their faces and then went to a gang meeting and didn't get beat up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they are the ones that beat people up? <laughs> right. What kind of world is this? <laughs> it's upside down. Yeah. Yeah, it's all backwards, ass backwards. Did we make the siren up. analogy with the Lizzies? Yeah. Oh yeah, no, I don't think so. I mean, that, that's the I, kind of dudes just pull them in like yeah. sirens. Like, come on, yeah. come hang out with us. Yeah, yeah. Go up to our place. Yeah, yeah. And, then, and they fall for it. They do. Yeah. And then, the Two chick, of the three. Anyway. The chicks are back. The chicks are back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, some of the slow mo. Yeah. And that's you know, yeah. again. I really like the, the slow mo. I already said that, but I really, I really like that. I think effect. Rembrandt gets Rembrandt gets stabbed, right? Or oh, I think so. Oh, yeah, yeah gets one of the chicks weak, gets him. Yeah. But other than that, they get out pretty easy yeah. from, from them. That's when they're split up. They get split. When, yes. When do they get split up? When they go to the station and the cops are there, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. The cops chasing them in the subway was pretty cool too. Yeah. And then yeah. you were saying uh, the guy who plays Windows in the thing, yeah. he gets yeah. thrown into tossed. the train. Yeah. Yeah. Mercy. That's a pretty crazy scene. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's poor, pretty poor pretty Fox. visceral, pretty brutal. Yeah. yeah, thrown in front of the train. That's when, um, this movie's rated R, and there's not that much. I mean, there's violence, but it's not like it's it's not a gory movie. You know, there's not that much. Yeah, blood, you, you don't know? see very much blood. It's relatively tame. Yeah. yeah. If I had like a like, I can't. I think I was like maybe like 13 or 14 when I finally saw this. But like, I would if I had a 10 year old, I'd probably show him it. Yeah, it doesn't seem I'd show them it because it's like. It's not really that bad. Although you wouldn't want them to like your kid to show up the next day and say faggots. Yeah, that's the only thing. <laughs> Just start you know, saying all those. You wimps. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. you know, I mean, I'm um. One of them you, says are, japped at one point, like when they're about to get ambushed. Keep saying oh, japped. Oh, yeah, I noticed really? that. Yeah. I didn't notice oh man, that. we're about to get japped, guys. Wow. We're about to get what is that? Like, it's like, oh, do you mean jacked? Wait, <laughs> yeah. Are you putting a p instead of the ck? I think it's like yeah, they're about to get ambushed or they're about to just get you know. By crazies taken out. Yeah. I didn't notice it's that. Like a, wow. It's like a that's an old term. I, I don't I would know, say. man. I I, I watched II. Blazing Saddles as a kid. And they say the N word throughout that whole movie. Yeah. And I I I I never like you know I've I've never been told to not say that because I said it. Well, I mean, Blazing I Saddles, they like make light of it too. You know? Right. That's a good point. I, that's I watched point. I watched that with some friends and like my girlfriend, and they were like offended. I was like, Yeah, you guys, like they're not. It's not racist. Like it's kind <laughs> yeah. of the opposite. I, yeah. You don't get it. Right, yeah. You just don't get it. Yeah, they don't get it. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, some that, it's just hard for people to hear that word. It's just like it's hard for people to hear exactly. you know, what yeah. they say in this movie. So. These words hold weight, yeah. 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 Sticks and stones break my bones, blah, 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 yeah. words. Words are like bullets. <laughs> <laughs> South Park. Yeah. Words? Words are like bullets. <laughs> That's the little music. Guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, that episode. Anyway. Um... After the Lizzies, I think they group back up, right? I think so. Yeah, when they get yeah, when they get so. the roller skate fight in the bathroom, right? Yeah, they finally yeah. reunite. Punks. Yeah, it's cool when they like 
in movies when you have like an ensemble and they split up and they're able to like come back together and yeah. it's kind of like that like woohoo moment yep. you know yeah yeah, yeah. what about United. what about the part where swan is alone with mercy just like walking through the tunnels yeah that part was kind of odd like the way they like make out and then he's like no like, yeah, yeah that's right just go that's back right. to where you came from we didn't bring um when she gets the jacket and um He's like, uh, where'd you get it? She's like, what do you mean where I got it? I stole it. She said, I don't know. I like the way she's like, I stole it. Mm-hmm. But um, apparently the reason why is because the actress broke her wrist or something, and they had to cover oh. it. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. <laughs> and, but I they make it, it work in the movie. She's like, you know, you know, the, you know, the cops probably have like a, um, you know, identity on some chick in a, in a red, whatever color dress she's wearing. Yeah, so they make dress. it work in the movie, which is pretty. And that's why yeah. she steals the jacket. Oh, that was kind of neat. Yeah, and I feel like he even kind of looks at her a little differently too. After that, he's like, "Oh, like you are with it." You yeah, know, like, oh, yeah. You okay, you break rules too. Yeah, 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 yeah. They had a, they had a. I don't know. If, I couldn't decide if I liked it or not when um, they're walking in the subway tunnel and like the red light comes on from like the train mm-hmm. and like all of a sudden they're in like this red light. Like it felt like a really cool, like pretty shot to me, but then it also felt almost like forced. And then they just walk along, you know, nothing really happens. Yeah. But yeah, that's when they have like that back and forth where he's like, maybe you should put a mattress to your back. Yeah. And she's yeah. like, please, come on, please. <laughs> you know, and he's just like, nah, yeah. get out of here. Right, yeah. it, it is a pretty like awkward scene in a way. Yeah. Yeah, when they were kissing, I felt kind of awkward. <laughs> yeah. So I'm making out. <laughs> Quit it. <laughs> that's yeah. It's like watching your parents kiss or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's, the, that's when the scenes where I felt like maybe she had some use in the movie more than i thought because i think yeah. before i was like who's this mercy chick like right. get her out of here you know but yeah. they humanize her there more so and and give her kind of like her reasons for why she wants to like i want to live now and blah blah blah. yeah and then uh, that comes into play later too when they're on the train and the prom kids come i was gonna in. bring that up yeah yeah that's a good scene yeah. i mean you know it's and that's another thing it's like okay so there's prom in this world yeah so i guess <laughs> not everything is in all, all the shit apparently no. yeah. or maybe they came from like a disco i don't know <laughs> it looks like prom it, it looks, looks like, yeah, a prom. It looks like yeah. yeah and then yeah. it's middle of the night and they're like let's get breakfast you know yeah like that. yeah yeah but yeah um, she does that like thing where she like tries to fix her hair and, and he stops her yeah which I thought was really cool. That yeah. was pretty cool. That's my that's one of my favorite scenes in the movie cuz again that's where I think I was bringing up the substance. That's you know that and it's all there's no words. There's just people looking at each you know it's all yeah. just um very actions. uncomfortable too. Like, and very uncomfortable also. They're they're just, just staring at the just kids. Looking at the prom kids just like the, the dirtiest looks on their faces. Yeah, that's yeah. that's that's uh the dichotomy there. What the, do you get from that? What do you what do you think that means? The whole she's fixing her hair and then he stops her. Like I you... think he's saying like don't try to be something you're not. Like don't don't try to uh you know, change yourself for their approval. That's like what live I got your too. life how you yeah, want to live. That's what I got. Just too, like she I, told him. Yeah. I thought that was really cool on Swan's yeah. part. You know, yeah. it's just like no no, no, like you know, you're you know, you're fine the way you are right now. Yeah. They're like, we're down here at the bottom, but we like it here. We're happy like, here. You know? Yeah. Like, you know, they don't need your, like what you said, kind of like, they don't, they don't need your approval. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Well, that's a good scene. I like it. <laughs> they get off the next stop. Yeah. It was great. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. The, the one, one of the chicks drops, what's that called? The corsage or something? Oh, yeah. Is that yeah. what it's called? She does. And he picks it up and he gives it to her. Yeah. And she's like, 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 what's this for? And he's like, I just hate seeing anything go to waste. Right. <laughs> Which is kind of just him. Like, I, I took that as like, kind of like. Oh, you know, whatever. But it's like he does. You know, it's like his little gift to her. Yeah, yeah. in a way. No, I, I think it's a really nice little um, bonding for them in a way. Yeah, yeah. They get that at the end too, when she's like, you know, you know, I like to travel. He's like, where have you ever been? Well, I just know I would like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, I like that scene when he steps off the train. He's like, we we fought all night just to come back to this. Yeah, you know, yeah. this little yeah. piece of turf. Yeah. Yeah, and then the, then the rogues, that's when the rogues show up at Coney Island, right? Yeah, they're getting yeah. ready they're, down they're taxi, the pier. Aren't they driving a taxi cab or something? It looks like Yeah, it, it looks like yeah. a taxi cab made to look like a, a cop car almost. Something you know, like again, that, like yeah. I think they're supposed to be like rogue cops is their aesthetic maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Okay, maybe. That's actually a really good point. <laughs> but yeah, I like how they're just kind of like trailing behind them. Stay yeah. on their ass. Like, yeah. 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 And then that's a great scene too when they're under the boardwalk. And yeah. they're like just grabbing makeshift weapons. Right. Yeah. 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 They're ready to, ready to bop. Yeah. I'm gonna bopper, bring them out to bop, the ocean. Boppers are ready to bop. Yeah. Well, and then that's where the infamous line comes from when he's clinking the it's bottles. So they're just standing there, and you know, you just you just hear it first. You're like, what is that? And it shows him. And I, I like the reveal. You know, he's kind of looking, and you hear it, and then he raises his hand. It's like, oh, and then it's just like, wait a minute, what are you, what are you doing? Yeah, it's, it's, it's like it could have. It's like you said with the Furies. It could have been really poorly done and really like almost funny, 
It's not. Yeah, you know, it's it's, 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 well actually, it's quite intimidating. Yeah, it actually, it shows the warriors, just and some of them are like te- just teasing them. Yeah, yeah. just teasing them. Just some of the warriors can... are terrified. It looks yeah. like, you know? <laughs> like yeah, oh, I like their reactions too. It's mm-hmm. just you know they're just like oh shit, here we go. Like, yeah. You know, warriors. It's, <laughs> it's, it gets so. It starts out like warriors come out to play, and then it just and then at the end he's like warriors. Yeah. Screaming. Come out to play. Yeah. <laughs> it just gets so exaggerated and just yeah. you know I'm like he does I can only imagine job. when the guys in the car is just like alright dude are you done yet like, yeah <laughs> can you shut they, like, up they like the warriors like start talking and you hear them in the background still yeah. doing it like yeah. it's just so it's but you know at the same time it still works you know it's still yeah. just like really kind of like you know this is when the shit's about to mm-hmm. you know hit the fan I guess yeah I like that shot where it's like um they're in the car and it's like you could see the windshield and then swan is there like standing yeah there. but it's just swan you could see everybody right. else is still under the dock and that's right. when he starts yes. clinking the bottles yeah clink, clink. i saw that the cinematographer is the same guy as first blood oh so, really oh, that's good yeah. that's cool. awesome i, I was I trying to that. see what else he did i didn't see too much there's probably stuff yeah he's probably yeah. done more so that's cool yeah. though nice there's yeah. so many connections with our other uh, previous reviews i know yeah, yeah. Well, and I remember at First Blood, you, you specifically, Carlos, pointed out like tons of cool shots that there yeah. were and stuff like that. I, that's true. I didn't. I don't know if I saw that that much in this movie, but like you know, I think about the wheel in the beginning. Like that's like a pretty cool photo. Like you know. Yeah, like, that's, I would that's frame true. That on we my didn't wall. talk about the, cone, the the Wonder Wheel, right? Yeah, yeah. The Wonder Wheel. Yeah, that is a good shot. And like the music with that, like dun dun dun. Well, yeah. the thing with Just that, the, whole thing. Um, the Warriors is a little more tight, where First Blood's a little more landscape. Oh, uh, that's true. You know, yeah. More vistas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, really, like, the only vistas we get are maybe, like, um, the beginning at the meeting. Yeah. And maybe mm-hmm. at the end. These are more, like, cramped subways. Yeah, exactly. When they're out, like, on the oceans. The ratios change, too. Like, you know, uh, First Blood's wider. Mm-hmm. This one's a little less wide. Mm-hmm. Maybe know? to, to kind of give you that more, like, claustrophobic, Tight, yeah. paranoid Ooh, feeling. Yeah. 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 yeah, that plays on you, definitely. Because <clears throat> when they're at the... When they're at the um, ocean at home you know like now it's daytime or well it's morning right you know the sun's up like it, it is like more spacious and yeah. stuff you know when we see the ocean we think we're home yeah exactly hmm. it's like yeah. they're, it's like a relief kind of yeah so claustrophobia is over yeah yeah because um what do they they go to the beach and then that's when like you know they ask you know why'd you do it like, no reason I just like doing <laughs> things like th-. then the the riffs just appear out of fucking nowhere yeah, yeah. like <laughs> Yeah, they're all just standing there, like watching. Yeah, and they're all yeah, wearing, right. They're their black T-shirts and everything. And it's like, where the hell did you guys come from? Okay. <laughs> Some of them are really goofy too when they walk down. One of them looks like Denzel Washington. I had to oh, look. Wow. Make sure it wasn't him. That's funny. It just looked like him. But like one guy's like, they're all walking like straight in a straight line towards the Warriors, and one guy's like looking at like a forty-five degree angle like the whole time. I'm just like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who put this guy in the front? That's funny. <laughs> this actor. Yeah. Yeah. But a uh, great scene, you know, yeah, but there, and, and then the shootout, like, it's kind of goofy. He, like, He's... sidesteps the bullet and throws the knife at him. Right. At Luther. And... <laughs> <laughs> His reaction is so fucking funny. Yeah. My friend, we used to replay, like, that whole, like, everything about him in that ending scene we used to just crack up at. <laughs> he's just, he's, he's, funny. He's, he's pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, they throw, don't they, they shoot him. Is that, they shoot him because he has the knife? Is that it? Swan has the knife and Luther has the gun. Oh, but when then, Luther goes to shoot him, Swan the, like steps to the side and then throws the knife and it lands in Luther's arm and he's like, "Oh, ah! okay, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah." He's like, he's like some superhero moves. Yeah, yeah. Swan. Has. Yeah, and somehow like I don't the remember who it was. Knife thrower. I want to say it's like Rembrandt behind Swan. Mm-hmm. Somehow he doesn't end up getting shot. <laughs> I know that's what I was worried about. <laughs> Swan like look back side. and your buddy's dead. Take the bullet yeah. from me. That's <laughs> yeah. Funny. And then right then, that's when the riffs, yeah, yeah. pop up. Riffs. And then they walk down. To yeah, the end. Hey, you're right. Even when when the riffs like descend upon them, you know, and he's like, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we used to play that all the time. <laughs> rewind that over. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. Yeah. And he's like, No. Yeah. No. It's not us. It wasn't was. Yeah. It was them. <laughs> Warriors. Like, it's so funny. It's like you're just this little bitch. He's a little yeah, bitch. he is. I think when he gets, you know, mm. when he gets that in his arm and like yeah. falls to the ground screaming, I think that's supposed to show you like he's just kind of a coward the whole yeah. time. You know? Yeah, yeah. Um, a little yeah, bitch. We got another good line too. But in the the um, Masai, what does he say? He goes like, um, "You you warriors are cool." Yeah, is that what he, he says? He says you warriors are good. Yeah, you warriors Real are good. good. And then he goes the best. 
Yeah. But I like yeah. it. He takes like a beat, you know, like right. Swan yeah, 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 like yeah. looks at him for a second. The yeah. Best. Best. And then they like part the seas of riffs basically. <laughs> for them yeah, to walk a little <laughs> That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. They just yeah. walk off. Yeah. And then the Eagles, the Joe, Joe yeah, Walsh, yeah. In, in the sea. Yeah. It's survival. <laughs> I was saying to you guys that it's in Rick and Morty um, on one point. It's when they're at the Citadel and it's all the Ricks and all the Mortys. And oh. they're like, it starts out like Tales from the Citadel. But it's, uh, you know, like it comes on with that same exact song. And I think it's the version from the Warriors, not the Eagles version, you know? Right, because the, the Eagles had this on one of their albums. I looked it up. Yeah. I never knew that. I didn't yeah, I saw that Joe actually... Walsh and the Eagles, they liked it so much that they were like, let's make this a new yeah, real which song. I don't like. I like the one in the movie a lot better personally. Mm-hmm. But... Yeah, it's just a, it's a great end credit song, you know? <laughs> yeah. And I was yeah. listening to it on yeah. the way here, and there are some mm-hmm. like lyrics in there, too, that are relevant to the movie. Like um, the whole thing with Mercy and... And how, like, you know, the gangs are, like, at the bottom and it's kind of hopeless and stuff. That's reflected in the song lyrics a little bit. Oh, that's mm-hmm. cool. When I was listening through. Yeah. It was like, somewhere out on the horizon. Yeah, I think he's like, when you're at the bottom, there's nowhere to go. Yeah. Or something like yeah. that. It's yeah. some, some crap, but, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. you got. I wanted to bring this up. Um, it sounded like you guys watched the theatrical cut. There was no comic. See, I don't. I have a bootleg Blu-ray of because you can't officially get the theatrical. Well, that's not true. There was a German Blu-ray that had the theatrical on it, and uh, I missed out on that. It goes for a decent amount of money on eBay now. But um, oh, no. wow, this guy I know hooked me up with a Blu-ray copy of the theatrical cut because I I have the director's cut. I never watch it. Just just that's my um, my uh, uh, what do you call it? rationalizing um, myself owning a bootleg. Because um, it just it takes me out of it. It's like the special editions of Star Wars. It just doesn't fit for me. What, like, what's so different? It's just they insert like comic paneling that just really. It's just like this does not belong in in a nineteen seventies film. Mm-hmm. It's obviously this was like effects done in the two thousands. It just yeah. it's just really jarring. Save that crap for Sin City. Where yeah, I saw yeah. that. You know. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. You know, there's comic elements to it, like uh, a lot of the transitions are right, like Right, but you wipes. don't need to, you don't, but again, it's just like, it's just like, like, this is comic booky. get it? Yeah. There's comic book panels now, I just don't like that. Yeah, no, it's I get you. Treating, it's it, almost like treating the audience like they're dunces, which yeah. sometimes they are, but. Well, it's like we were reading everyone. about how that uh, he does like a voiceover in the beginning of the director's cut where he talks about Anabasis. And I don't really like know. that either. Yeah. I know you, do you, do you think that's a good idea to put that in the beginning? I, I don't think so for this, like, okay. because it's exactly. lifted basically like exactly from the story, you know? So yeah. if you know, you know, and if not, like, I didn't know, I didn't watch this movie as a 10 year old and be like, Oh my God, that's Xenophon's greatest work. No, like, I, 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 it was yeah, later. I, yeah. I listened, I heard about it and I was like, this sounds just like the Warriors, and I look it up, and sure enough, I'm like, oh shit! Hmm. Like this is, you know, the basis. That, that's cool. Like yeah. that, that's fun when you can make those connections, right. yeah. and just leave it for people to do themselves. I exactly. Think. You know? Yeah. Don't. You know, it's a comic book hand. type movie because, like I was saying, the transitions they like page turning. You know. Like, yeah. The, the like, wipes. Slide. The yeah. Wipes are cool. Yeah. Yeah, and just. Yeah, the they, general comic fucking, bookiness of it all. Like you know? I said, there's guys in baseball outfits with face paint. There's right. fucking. Dudes with rugby shirts and overalls riding <laughs> with roller skates, like yeah. Come on, like yeah. This know. isn't this isn't uh, this isn't. I don't even know what to say. Like <laughs> gritty. This isn't the wire, you know. Like. I told I told um one of you guys this joke. I didn't come up with that. It's a little it's a little uh, un PC, but um I forget who the com- comedian was, but he said that this movie is a West Side Story for heterosexuals. Oh no. <laughs> And um, I've never seen West Side Story. That's I don't really. That's not really my thing. What? But it's kind of the same premise. It's like gangs, right, in New York. Yeah. Battling with each yeah. other. Jets and the sharks. Yeah. When you're a jet. Yeah. See, I don't. Yeah. I watched that in my. I took a film, nine week film class in like middle school. Oh, okay. As part of the wheel or whatever. Yeah. The and it was elect- pretty dumb. What like, are the electives. The yeah. Elective wheel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't. As far as I remember, mm-hmm. we didn't ever talk about anything. We just sat there and literally watched movies, mm-hmm. which was great yeah. for a twelve year old. But yeah, you know, it would have been nice to just dissect it a little bit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But we watched West Side Story, and they're like, "See, it's Romeo and Juliet." Oh, mm-hmm. Okay. You know. Oh, okay. Cool. Okay. You can make. He never watches musicals i gotta get you into some musicals this year like um the wizard of oz that's a musical Mm -hmm. like uh, is that a musical yeah i guess so i guess a lot lot of musical numbers um lay miz is cool rocky horror picture show oh yeah oh rip meat low piece meatloaf yeah i know yeah 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 poor guy um 
What? Uh, Did you watch Tenacious D? Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, yeah. yeah. I'm trying to think. There's, I think there's like maybe others like uh the beatles movies maybe i don't know mm. i mean uh, across the know. universe no like, family the, like the ones with the beatles actually in it i don't know sergeant pepper's lonely hearts club band is really good the one from the 70s that's a movie yeah that movie is i don't fucking... think it, it doesn't have the beatles in it's it. it's got but... the Bee Gees and peter yeah Frampton. dude <laughs> that movie. The i used to watch that as a kid alice cooper's in it aerosmith is in it it's a weird fucking movie you know oh, the Bee Gees. pretty out there uh, that'd be, yeah, that'd be an interesting actually, one to talk about. Steve Martin's the dentist. Steve Martin, oh my <laughs> god, he um, he's a uh, Bang Bang Maxwell or whatever. Silver he's, Hammer. He's the dentist in uh, a oh, little shop of horrors. Okay. But he's almost the same kind of thing. Yeah, he, it's funny you guys bring up the Bee Gees. I was just in uh, town the other day, and I went to the place where they actually met up under this like doorstep. Basically, they were waiting for Chinese food. Ah! Get the fuck out of here! You were on the disco. You were on the disco walking tour. I've been on that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, That's where they wrote that funky hit song, "Night Fever." Yeah, yeah. I couldn't remember the words. Yeah, it's like yeah. Bee Gees, huh? Yeah. Hmm. yeah, yeah. I like that disco walking tour. We should go. We should all three of us go on that. Yeah, sometime. we should. Let's kill Ricky Prickles. Yes. I, I've been stuck yes. in my head for like a week for some reason. Yeah, and I. You know, nobody ever knows. Let's kill Ricky Next Prickles. next video game I play and like make a new account, I'm gonna name myself Ricky Prickles. There you go. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, way yeah, off topic. Wait, I'm gonna name myself um well, Big Big Braden. <laughs> big 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 <laughs> Rob <laughs> Big Big Rob dancing Big Disc- Ronnie. Yeah, disc- yeah, yeah. <laughs> you gotta provide some free drinks. <laughs> yeah, we believe in the power of free drinks. Well, great- There's no free drinks. <laughs> I don't know where you got that idea. <laughs> it's it in the brochure. Free drinks? Yeah. Drop it with the free drinks crap. <laughs> Next yeah. Friday. Right. Drink. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, think you're going to turn me a new asshole. You're making a big mistake. <laughs> Check my cheeks and then he moons you. So that, we need to go on that disco walking tour. That'd be yeah, cool. We, all three of us. Oh, I, I do want a, a, a heartfelt moment. Um, mm-hmm. Not really. Um, but Aww. this is one of my dad's favorite movies. I feel like I talk about my dad a lot on this podcast randomly. Yeah, anyway, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I love, I love we shown a lot of these movies from our fathers and our yeah. female yeah. Our yeah. figures in our lives. Yeah. But um, the first thing I knew of this movie was the the bottle clinking scene. Oh yeah. And it was because of the video game. Um, oh, we didn't even talk about the video game. Yeah, maybe we could do that before we rate. Um, yeah, Rockstar, yeah. the makers of Grand Theft Auto, they actually did a Warriors video game uh, back for the original Xbox and maybe the PlayStation, PlayStation 2. 2. Really kind of random. Yeah, super random. Yeah, because yeah, it's like 30, 20 something years yeah, later. Yeah. 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 And um, if I'm not mistaken, it's not a prequel. Is it a prequel or I like think a it sequel? Might be. I think it's a lot of the events, I think. I think. Honestly, I think the whole game takes place before the movie. Yeah, but it's very like critically acclaimed. It's definitely I liked it a, a lot. cult classic. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I remember playing it back in the day, and it was a, it was a lot of fun. My, we played a, um, a little bit. My buddy and I we played a little bit of it like a year, uh, maybe like two or three years ago, and mm-hmm. I still had really fun. Yeah, a lot of fun playing it. Yeah, and I think that they actually get a couple of the voice actors back, if I'm not mistaken. Mm. I think you're right. But uh, I was watching a review, and they said that. That might not have been the best idea because some of them did obviously sound older, yeah. oh, but yeah. they're still yeah. in like their kid bodies. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so you got like a gruff voice now. Like, right. yes. <laughs> yeah. Let's go beat up those guys. Yeah. Let's old go beat up those old, wimps. Old, old, old man voice. <laughs> old man voice. Let's go yeah. beat up those baseball furies. But it's still really cool that they tried to like continue the story, even add on to the main storyline. And yeah. Uh, I remember fighting. I think I we even fight the baseball furies in that yeah. game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> you fight a lot of the classic gangs. Yeah, yeah, nice. and you're kind of introduced to more gangs. I think you're. Um, I'm sure you fight the mime gang, the hi hats, <laughs> yeah, and like the AC Turnbulls. Yeah. You might even bring in some new gangs. Yeah, gotta, probably one of these days. I, I want to play through it all, all the way through. So that's a really fun game. Yeah, it seems very appropriate mm-hmm. that Rockstar did it because you know it ties in with a lot of Grand Theft Auto type. You know, yeah. Grand Theft Auto is not a very accurate portrayal of gangs. I don't think either. You know, the, like I think of Vice City, like the Haitians and whatever else. Like, you know, they're not really like that. I don't think they're not really like they are on the Warriors. But it makes for a damn great video game. I'm sure. I never played it. You guys played it. I haven't. But yeah, it's I could fun. totally see how it would you can find translate. 
I'd, I'd recommend it. Yeah. It was pretty fun. Yeah. Um, Especially like if you're a fan of the Warriors. Bootleg copy. Or, yeah, there you go. Yeah. What a, What is it? Um, what's it called when you reformat onto like a different system, you know? Because I don't have a PS2 or an Xbox. Is it? Uh, uh, I can't think of the word, but. Yeah. I know what you mean, though. But yeah. You know, I'd like to I'd like to do that. I'd, I'd be interested to play it. Yeah. yeah it's fun. But um, I was going to say, like, that that is what brought me to this movie because the commercial came on back in, what is that, 06 or 05 or whatever. Yeah. And it was him clinking, and it got stuck in my head. And then I'm just, like, sitting there one time, and I just start saying it, and my dad, like, looked over at me. He's like, what you know about that movie? That's funny. <laughs> yeah. And so I convinced him to uh, take me to Hollywood Video or whatever, and we rented it and watched it and stuff. So. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's fun to, like, watch a movie with my dad, have him be like, check this shit out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really, you know, I mean, when the Warriors last decade were making all their finals runs and, you know, every Warriors mm-hmm. come out to... Like, I think it's the remix of um, Flava in Your Ear by Craig Mack. Um, I forget. I think it's either Puff Daddy in the beginning or Busta Rhymes. They're going, bad boys, come out to play. Oh, like, that's cool. It's, it's, a, it's a big pop culture, uh, you know, it's almost like, you know, I'm your father or yeah, making yeah. him offer. I can't, you, you can't refuse. Like, it's, mm-hmm. it's a very iconic movie line. Yeah, people know stuff from this movie. Yeah. Again, like even people if you haven't seen it, don't even, they might not even know what it's from. Mm-hmm. You know, some maybe like some five-year-old kid at a Warriors game saying that and doesn't even know what, <laughs> what he's referencing, right. yeah. what they're referencing. Yeah, or people just be like, "Can you dig it?" And that too, yeah, yeah. Those are the two big ones. Saw that in a Simpsons episode not too long ago. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> There's literally... like a whole Simpsons episode I think where they kind of recreate the Warriors. Is that the what? one you're talking about? Yeah, it's yeah. pretty. Uh, it's pretty much like the Warriors. Like the Sire scene is just like the yeah, Sire scene. right. I, yeah, I've seen some of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, good show. Yeah, Rockstar was actually going to make a second Warriors game, but it was going to be based off of um, England, England's ga- gangs. That's cool. Wow. Yeah, That's it cool. looked yeah. kind of interesting. They're yeah. like all riding like the World War One motorcycles around and wow. stuff. Yeah, I guess it just never really got off the ground. <clears throat> and the only like real reference in any game files that they ever made later was I think it was like in a Max Payne game. Uh, you could just find like some graffiti up on the wall mm. of I can't remember what the gang's name is. That's cool. They but, reused it. Yeah, a little yeah. Easter egg. Code. Yeah, yeah. yeah cool. like the Yorkshire Easter Rippers or something. <laughs> something <laughs> weird like that. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. That would have been cool too. That's cool because like if you mm. think about like American gangs, I feel like guns have always been a part of American culture forever. You know, yeah. since the Wild West and all that. So, yeah. but like I wonder if gangs were around and like the 17th century in England, you know? Yeah. And then they would have had to use chains and tire irons yeah. and crowbars and knives right. and stuff. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah, that's that's just neat. I, guns guns just mess a lot of stuff up, you know, because it just makes it so final, so quick. Yeah. yeah. But, like, if you could fight with your hands and, you know, big boards and things and you're breaking them over people's heads, it's way cooler. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Definitely. You know, Matrix did it with gun foo and stuff. That was cool. Right. You know, plenty of other movies, of course, but um, for the most part, you know, John Wick has pretty yeah. good gunplay without yeah. like, I mean, John Wick has its hand to hand stuff, but I feel like a right. lot of it is, is gun based, but yeah. they, they make it still interesting. They do. Yeah. But I just don't think it would have worked here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Probably not. The cops yeah. like just start blasting. Like, yeah, you know, in Indiana them. Jones, when like the guy has a sword, he's all like that. And then just, Indiana Jones just shoots him. It'd be like that yeah. kind of. Yeah. Exactly right. That's it. That's over. That's funny. Just shoot all the baseball players, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> twirling yeah. their baseball bats around. God. Yeah, the yeah. Furies didn't last long. Yeah, they blew. They blew a lead in a game, and they, they had a lot of money on that game, and just like fuck these guys, we're gonna fucking yeah. take these guys out. Pop, pop, yeah. kneecap them. Cost me a thousand dollars on that fucking game, you fucking baseball popsicle looking fucks. <laughs> anyway. <Stick> pops. <clears throat> he probably has a nightstick halfway up his ass by now. Yeah. Oh, he he says that about Cleon. Yeah, Ajax. <laughs> Ajax brings up the gay people, but he's the one always talking about shoving stuff up people's ass. Yeah, yeah he's, and it's you know like when you're kind of like um, a, a closeted gay person, like one mm-hmm. thing that they'll do is like, oh man, I want you know we should, we gotta go find some chicks, man. I want a chick so bad. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. It's kind of like they're overcompensating, I guess. Or I don't know if that's the right word, but maybe yeah. there's that with him. He's got a piercing, you know. He's got his ear pierced. So. Oh, does he? He oh, does. That's funny. I didn't notice yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Just be who you are, man. If you're gay, you're gay. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing well, wrong with that. It's too late for him. He's in a prison cell now. He so. might be, or he might be uh, you know, whether he wants it or not, he might be <laughs> doing, engaging in some uh, homosexual activities. <laughs> oh, no. You know. Ajax. Oh, well. Rip. Wait, what do you give it out of five? What do I give it out of five? That's a tough call. 
You know, I always struggle with ratings because I'm like, do I want to rate? It's hard for me to rate critically because, like, I don't know a lot of shit, you know? Mm-hmm. So I got to go from my heart. You know? I mean, you know, like, what we've rated in the past, like, you know, is the thing really a 5 out of 5? Yeah, fuck it. If we think it's a 5 out of 5, you know, it's right, a 5 yeah. out of 5 for us. You yeah. Know? yeah. Yeah. So I'm waffling between 4.5 and, and 5 on this one. Mm-hmm. It's a tough call. Uh, maybe four and a half because there are a couple things, uh, but you know, it's like you've said before, Ian, like, I feel like I'm nitpicking when I, when I have to like pull away at it, but for yeah. one, like I didn't really care for mercy. Yeah. Um, mercy, in a lot of ways. Mercy me. Yeah. Probably one of my least mercy, favorite love interests me. in a movie. Yeah. And I didn't think that even needed to be a thing. I, yeah. You know? Um, but yeah, uh, the fighting, the, the, the fighting could have been a lot better, but mm-hmm. again, like it's not, I don't think it's supposed to be that serious, you know, like Mm -hmm. you can suspend your disbelief of that because yeah, it's dudes in kiss makeup versus (laughs) guys in vests fighting, you know, like, but still that, that is something like maybe you notice and I don't know. Some of the dubbing was kind of off. I thought too, Mm -hmm. maybe I noticed that. Yeah. Sort of, I guess you could say that detracts, but all these, that's, that's basically it. That's, right. you yeah. know, that's all the things that I could say as critical. So for that reason, you know, four and a half, just because of all the stuff we've talked about, how much I love it. You know, it's a great movie and uh, one I've rewatched since I saw it first. I don't know, probably like six or seven times. Yeah, same. I feel like I watch it like once a year or something. Yeah, probably the same. Showed my girlfriend this movie and she at the end, she was like, you know, I, I like that a lot more than I thought I was going to. Cool. You know, yeah. she thought she was. That's good to hear. Yeah. Nice. She thought she was in for something. I was like, no, it's a great movie. Good taste. Yeah. 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 So four and a half out of five. Nice. The Warriors. What about you, Ian? Yeah, I, uh, I feel like I always do this. So I'm gonna have to go with Roman and Gary to get the four and a half out of five too. Nice. Um, yeah, man, it's it's one of my it's one of my favorites. I'm really glad we got to talk about this. I think ni- 1979 is a really uh, standout year for me because this came out. Alien came out. That's Alien might be like my favorite movie ever. Mm. Apocalypse Now came out. That's like my probably maybe my favorite war movie. It's a really good year for movies. Um, and this is a you know I'm sure there's others from that year, but like this to me those are the, the big three, and this is a big standout. They're all diff very different movies, yeah. almost different genres in each one. But yeah, you know I and like like you know what Roman was saying also like if if I were to critique, it's like it's nitpicking or just make trying to make make a joke you know mm-hmm. just like you know, you know like the baseball it's just like you know making fun just for the sake of the orphans <laughs> making fun right. just for the sake of making fun i think it works so well even with like mercy yeah she's probably like the least interesting character when i think of the warriors she's one of the last things i really think about however she has one of my favorite scenes in the movie with her and swan on the subway with the prom kids and then you know the little interaction afterwards so even she kind of serves a purpose yeah to my liking of the movie yeah. You know, I think all all the gangs are cool. They all they all have their own unique uh vibe going mm-hmm. on. You mm-hmm. know, they're all Distinct. individual, you know, they're all it's just so interesting. Mm-hmm. It's a really tight pace. I don't think there's really maybe when they're walking around in the subway, Swan and Mercier gets a little like, all right, come on, let's little get drag. Other than yeah. that though, it's like pretty well it keeps your in- it keeps my interest throughout the yeah. whole movie for the most part aside from that. Yeah. Um yeah, just you know, even some of you know performances can be a little goofy, but it just works. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It works so well for this, and yeah, four and a half. I'm, I'll give it a four and a half out of five. It's one of my favorite movies. It's it's up there. It's one I quote a lot. Yeah, even oh, just yeah. little things like, um, you know, he shot Cyrus. <laughs> yeah. He shot Cyrus. <laughs> Not looking for us, Warriors member. <laughs> I'm like having that. fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's all from that guy. <laughs> it's all that guy. Yeah, <laughs> but I do like you know like you yeah, warriors oh, are good. I was Real gonna, good. I was gonna yeah, yeah, that's great. I was gonna say this. So I went to a baseball game last season, and I Venmoed my buddy the tickets. And I um, on Venmo you say like what you're you can say what you're paying for. And I mm-hmm. I said I paid him for popsicles because we're going to a baseball game. Mm. <laughs> Shut that bat up your ass and turn you into a popsicle. Yeah. I'm sure no one if anybody saw that like you bought popsicles from your friend like what? <laughs> no, it's. I like to be clever with my Venmo payments. But anyway. There's a reason behind <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Anyway, four out of five for me. Four nice. and a half out of five for me. Um, so 4.5, 4.5. Um, I think the this movie is not my top ten favorite movies ever. Um, but I think it is very um 
I guess epic. We do reference it a lot in our pop culture. Can you dig it? Mm-hmm. Um, warriors come out to play. Yeah. Um, so it has its place in pop culture. Um, like you guys were saying, the gangs are so cool. Um, it's a really cool concept trying to survive and get back home. Um, but I do agree with Roman. Like some of the dubbing is a little off here and there. Maybe some of the acting is a little yeah, maybe chuckle um, a couple off. times. Yeah. <laughs> um, the language for being in the seventies back then it was a different time, so we could say <laughs> we could say the f word. Yeah. Yeah. And um, you know, boppers and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I do like the radio host. I like. Yeah. Um, I think we yeah, were talking she, about. She's one of my favorites. Yeah. We were talking about, um, you know, just, um, uh, what would you call it? The amount of diversity in all the gangs yeah. Yeah. in the film. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think I would give this one a four out of five myself. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It definitely has its place in pop culture. Um, not my favorite, but, you know, you got to respect it. Yeah. And, I do indeed dig it. Yes. I think we can all say that we dig it. Yeah. Yeah. Suckers. Can we count suckers? Can we count an ad? So what is it? So can we, we count? count? So Roman nine is a nine. Uh, that's 13 out of 15, I think. 13. Yeah. That's, that's, not a, bad. that's good. pretty good. That's yeah. a good movie. That's, I think, an A still. I want to say. Or close to it. Yeah. And the soundtrack's good, too. Yeah. The soundtrack's yeah. great. Can't forget about the yeah. soundtrack. I like the editing too. I mean, I didn't right. touch on it, but I also like like the little cuts in between of like the radio, like the dials, like the meters and stuff. Like you know, it, just yeah. little quick like one two second shots. But I don't know. I just thought it's kind of cool. Like it 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 puts it there in the world and like you know, I don't know. I think the DJ they do have like a close up of her dropping the the needle yeah, on yeah. the first song yeah. that she plays. Yeah. Yes, and they transition at one point too to the Lizzies, and there's like they're dropping a needle on the record and all that stuff too. So. Yeah, music is a big part of this movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but man. good movie. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree. I'm Quality glad film. Yeah. yeah, excellent choice. Yeah, good choice. Good choice. Yeah, glad I could watch it again. Yeah, you know, yeah. actually twice. I I watched it like a month ago, a month and a half ago, and then <laughs> again yesterday. It would yesterday. be so nice you watched it twice. Yeah, <laughs> you should definitely try. Maybe at least like look up a gameplay of the yeah, Warriors video yeah. game. Yeah, because it's it's really cool. Yeah. They did a really good job on it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Really. Um, like you could tell like they really um you know were fans of the movie yeah mm-hmm. and they're, i think that reflects in a lot of their other work too you yeah know? oh yeah, yeah. the grand theft yeah. auto games yep. and stuff like that yeah so yeah very right. influential yeah well, thanks for talking about warriors guys yeah, thank yeah. you yeah this was fun yeah hell yeah coming yeah. up next um i don't know ian just said his favorite movie is the alien we got to Make room for that. I would really like to talk about Alien sometimes. Great movie. 2022 is the anniversary of RoboCop. We gotta yes. watch that oh, like around we July. Need to do that. Yeah. Um, we we're I talking got... about Detain. Detain. Con- contemporary movie that's getting a lot of buzz right now. We'll try to fit that one in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Army of Darkness. Yes. We got Heather's on here. Yeah. Gremlins oh, 2. Nice. I did watch Gremlins 2 over mm. the break. Oh, yes, yeah. it was good revisiting that one. Yeah, I need to watch that again, especially with like... Christopher Lee in there. Oh, that's right, that really? movie. <laughs> that movie, man, that movie is. I is, still gotta watch it. It's it's amazing. You, I really like it's to hear balls it. to the wall. Again, it's it can be divisive. Some people really don't like. I think nowadays more people like it, mm-hmm. but I know for a while it was kind of like just like kind of tossed to the side. But I think it's a pretty good. It's a very very good sequel. Yeah, in my opinion. Yeah, so we got some stuff planned, guys. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll see what's next. We might do a football movie for Super yeah. Bowl Sunday. Yeah. Yes, I think that'd be really cool. It was yeah. called Last Boy Scout. Yeah, yeah with that's Bruce one Willis. Of my favorite, uh, I guess, like, not really. Has to, it kind of has to do with football. Yeah, There's a lot of football elements to it. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And then Roman, he's got his baby coming out soon. Yeah, three, yeah. three men and a baby. <laughs> Is that a movie? Yeah, I've oh. never seen it. What? <laughs> yeah, I've it's got it. like uh, Tom Selleck in it and Ted Danson or something. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah. Let's do it. New podcast. Yeah, how do you call three men and a baby? She's coming in like a month and a half. That's wow. Cool. wow, man. Yeah, that's exciting. exciting. Big baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll do a big daddy. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, brought to you by McDonald's. <laughs> right. Yeah. We'll, we'll eat McDonald's again for that one. You owe me a sausage McMuffin. Yeah. He's like, yeah. I remember when McDonald's breakfast first came out. People were like, what is this? What are we eating? Are we eating sausage? Are we eating hamburger? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, Adam Sandler. It's so dumb. Adam Sandler. 
So fun stuff in the pipe. Yep. Yeah. 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 It'll be fun. Coming up. Cool. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Thank you. Adios. Later. Later.